morning everyone it's keto granny i was trying to think of how i wanted to um make this video different things that i wanted to put in it so i'm in my one of my rooms and i'm cleaning i'm getting ready to fold clothes and everything thought that while i was doing that i would go ahead and talk to you and just share some information i have been doing really really good I'm very proud of myself. I got my first compliment. Someone told me, they said, hey, you look like you're losing weight again. So that made me feel really, really good. Um, got my whiteboard. So I was going to go ahead and, you know, talk about different things that are going on right now, which I'm going to put on the board. But I wanted to talk about this board. I looked at my board. I said, wow. This is a video by itself, also just looking at this information. As you can see on here, this has some weight comparisons. April the 4th, 2022, 266 pounds. And it looks like I went down to 252 pounds. And then my weight started fluctuating, 250.8 251.2, 250.4, and it looked like it was going down good. And then it looks like I stopped tracking or I stopped with the information that I was working on. It says weight 253.4, and that was on July 1st. Do you know that that is where I am right back again? In July, I had several, several setbacks. I ended up at the hospital and stuff. Um, I had to take um, Lasix because my body was retaining water and it retained something like, have that information here. Uh, I had got down to 253 because I was going on vacation. So I wanted to, you know, be able to eat a few extra foods and different things like that. So I wanted to allow for that. Right before I left, I got all the way down to like 250 pounds. After I got there, it was very hard to stay keto. I, I ate things like oh, maybe steak and broccoli, different things like that. But these are cooked in vegetable oils. They're adding salt and all these seasonings that I do not use. The food was good and I started having, you know, drinks and cocktails and things like that. And those are normally type of things that I really, really just don't do a lot of. But during that time, there was a lot of cocktails and different things like that. And I had a great and wonderful time I really really did enjoy myself so you see that while I, was, I got up to 265 65 pounds uh, by the time I got back on June the 23rd and I wasn't feeling well my heart was beating really regular and everything and I had to go into the doctor's office I had gained within like a week and two days 12 pounds and it was mostly water the doctor, they ran tests on me and everything, and they said they could see in my body where it was retaining water. So they ended up giving me Lasix. I had to take two days worth of Lasix uh, pills, so two pills in order to get uh, myself um, back where I, you know, feeling right and everything like that. So I was concerned about congestive heart failure, but it's not anything like that. Um, everything is turned around and I am losing my weight again. The scale is going down. I'm at 251.4, which I showed you at the beginning. So since this time, since April, or actually since June the 23rd, I've lost 15 pounds, so 14 pounds since that date. But, it, you know, I was looking, I said, this is the same amount of weight that I keep working with. I get sick and then... You know, I take steroids, steroids, I gain weight back, or I get sick and my carb intake goes up. But these are all things that you have to live with as you're living your life and as you're getting um, healthier and you're on your journey and your weight loss. But these are things that you can deal with. You can get past them, but you just have to stay focused and stay on track of what you're doing. You're going to get off track. You may, um, you know, things may not go as they should. But stay focused and do what you can daily. Look at what's going on. Look at how you can improve that situation and do that. Okay. 
That is how you can make these things work. You see, I look at my body a lot. I, I, I know when I'm retaining water. I check my ankles, my legs and stuff. I, you know, do the little pressure check where you can see if there's indentation, if you have swelling. So these are all different things that you can do so that you can know what your body is doing. These have all helped me so much. But like I said, I looked at this and I said, this, this board tells a story. It tells the story of everything that has happened to me within the past two to three months. As you see on here, I have a 90-day challenge, which I started doing at the beginning of July. And like I said, I'm down 15 pounds. I'm very happy for that. And I am challenging myself all the way until October the 1st. You can join in on this challenge, too. And it doesn't involve a lot. It does it involves walking every day. And try to aim for anywhere between 6,000 to 10,000 steps a day. Do you. Do your best. And then also eat good, healthy meals. Eat meals that you like. Eat meals that you're going to stick to and that you're going to enjoy. I'm going to show you some of the foods that I ate this week. And these foods have helped me to lose weight. You would look at them and say, oh, she ain't going to lose no weight eating like that. But yes, you can. My carb count on these meals are very, very low. They are delicious and very, very filling. So, if you want to learn from me as I'm on my journey, I know that there are some things I can um, relate to you because these things are happening to me. You can avoid them, you know. And then also some of the things that are happening to me, you can use them. So, come go with me on my journey. Um, if you know of anyone who will benefit from this type of information or, you know, are on a weight loss journey and we can keep each other encouraged, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and that way you won't miss any videos that I release. I have lost, like I said, 100 pounds like that I've been able to keep off, that I've maintained, total 137 pounds, gained some back, and I'm on my way losing that and getting to my goal my first goal is to get below 200 pounds 199 but my big goal is just i just want to weigh around 175 to 180 pounds so that is my goal so this is keto granny saying if you like this video give me a thumbs up comment below um, what you thought about the video anything else that you would like for me to talk about or share about my weight loss journey and make sure that you subscribe. This is Keto Granny saying have a good night. And I have some more information that you're going to see in this video. So I hope that you enjoy it. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm getting ready to break my fast this morning. And this meal is from my meal prep. I have 2.2 2 ounces of stuffed bell pepper. And that's 2.2 ounces of ground beef and then about half of a bell pepper. I have 2.8 ounces of salmon. I have about a cup and a half, almost two cups of broccoli with a tablespoon of cheese sauce. And I have a slice of my protein bread. So you can see I'm breaking my fast. I'm getting lots of protein in with this meal because this may end up being one meal a day, so I want to make sure I'm pretty well prepared this time. I have my protein bread there, um, and then I have my broccoli and my cheese. So this is how I'm breaking my fast this morning. This is Saturday morning. And this is my dinner. I'm having a slice of toast with about a little bit about some avocado and about four pieces of bacon. And this is it for today. It's now about eight o'clock.
Yes. And no, I won't believe anyone saying they didn't do it on purpose. And this is not it. A group of fishermen once found a dolphin stranded in shallow water and decided to help it. But the dolphin itself was in no... So I'm out gonna get me a few steps in the park here. It's nice out here. That little car is following me. That little car was following me. Oh, have you ever had a day where it seems like everything you do is difficult to do? I'm trying to take a walk and that's the most difficult thing for me to do. So you can see it's, it's pretty nice out here today, I would say. It's not as hot as it's been, but it's still hot. Trying to get a walk in. I got as far as I was gonna go before I had to stop and go take care of some other stuff. 